Hi, this is Sugar Shane Mosley, three division world champion, and you're hanging out with me and Lady Shan. Hey guys, hey guys. Well, 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 well. The bitch is back in the booties. You better have missed me or I'll leave the booties. I'll come back. I'll be back live on uh, on for Crawford Madrimov card, excellent card. Um, I'm gonna give my official prediction for Crawford Madrimov. In the booties. Sometimes you just need that YouTube break. It's like, I've got other stuff that I like doing. Sometimes I just like consuming boxing without being a boxing content creator. And sometimes, I, you know, not having to turn the volume all the way down and all that shit. And, you know, just watching it and just chilling out. Um, I always do the updated reports that I do, so that never ever stops. Um, but sometimes, you know, you just need to slow down. I just want to get to know you. To make it back a familiar booty. You need to be able to go outside and do stuff, you know. But, um, yeah, there's some exciting stuff coming up. So, you know, um, a bitch is back. Yeah. Um, so, listen. Crawford Madrimov. I've got, my prediction is, I, I know everybody's like, Madrimov's a big lad. He is. Um, they are the same height. Crawford and Madrimov are the same height, five foot eight, eight and a half. Um, also, Madrimov has got only a 68 and a half inch reach versus Terence Crawford's astounding 74 inch reach. So that's going to be at his deficit. He's going to be the one needing to get in the inside. And I feel that he's going to be <clears throat> totally shocked where I see when people, uh, when Crawford jabs uh, his opponent they're, his opponents always feel that they're out of range he did it with Errol Spence they feel that they're out of range and then they're like you should see the the, the shock um, registered in their faces it, it happens all the time so I feel that Madrimov is going to be shocked with, uh, with Terence's um, very deceptive long reach Decepticon is in the booty Decepticons transform and rise up in saying that also, uh, Matrimov is a really big lad. He is, he is. And when he fully hydrates, I, I think he, uh, his coach said, you know, they play it down a bit. His coach said, you know, he walks around at 175, try 180, 185. Um, a little birdie, you know, let me know that. Um, and Crawford has said he walks around as much as 180 himself. Um, but he does look like still... He's going to be slightly the smaller man. He was a smaller man at 147, so he had to grow into it. You know, um, 36, then there's father time. 36 versus, uh, what's Madrimov? Something like 25 years old? Between 25 and 27, I want to say. Um, 10 and 0, Madrimov. Um, the WBA champ. Um, highly de decorated amateur. Um, from one of the stands, you know, Uzbekistan, Uzbekistan, Kurdistan, stand, stand, stand. It's a stand, dude. Um, so yeah, he. What I've seen of Madrimov, very good, but I, I have seen him. What? I, oh no, hang on. Listen, he can also switch hit, but he is naturally an orthodox fighter, um, and he and he's really good at the switch hitting. Um, I wouldn't say I don't know if it's as fluid. As Crawford, Crawford is states that he's an orthodox, but in my heart, Crawford really is a southpaw fighter. He carries power in both hands, so uh, Madrimov will carry some power in both hands. And but Madrimov likes to smother his work a little bit. He is athletic because he does do the gymnastics, and that's why you see him do them backflips, honey. Um, it's all that all that muscle does that, but that does that backflips. Have you noticed Joe Joy stopped doing his capoeira? He he got way too big. And that capoeira, the um, handless cartwheel stopped. Sorry, I digress. Yeah, it was just a thought I had. Sorry for the loudness as well. Just realised it's the aircon. Listen, it's sweltering here. This is this is muy caliente. El clima es muy 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 calor. El el edificio. Okay. Back on topic, Chad. So yeah, he's very athletic. Crawford's very athletic. Um, but I I have seen him throw some wild shots and I just feared that he's not as accurate as Terence Crawford 
at all. I'm not sure if he's going to start fast, start slow. I think he's going to want to rush Terence Crawford. That will be his best bet in order to bank any rounds in the bank. Um, but yeah, I've just seen some holes in his game that I feel that Crawford is going to exploit and make him pay um, big time for that. Like I said, he's not that accurate at times. Uh, the level of competition that he's fought, not the greatest. So the things that he's allowed, he keeps his hands down mad low. You ain't going to be able to do that with Crawford. The level of competition that he's faced, it worked. But he, he does get caught and he will get caught if you think you're going to come in front of Terence Bud Crawford with your hands down. Not a good idea, mi hermano. Oh yeah, I've got, basically, because of these types of things, he does present some good angles, though, um, Madrimov, and he can, you know, angle off and uh, throw a punch and be from a, a different angle and switch angles. It's just a la Terence Crawford, which he did say is his favourite fighter. So maybe he studied Terence Crawford and wanted to fight like him as he was growing up. Who knows? I don't know. But they have um, some similarities for sure. So I'm absolutely going to predict that Terence Crawford, I know, and a lot of people are playing it safe and saying, you know, Terence Crawford points decision. Yeah, that could happen. I feel that he stops Madrimov for the points of what I've uh, what I've pointed out just due to his hands down low and he's going to get clocked and he's going to be on the floor and he's going to be stopped. I will give Madrimov a little more round and I'm saying Crawford, round 10 to 12, stoppage. In the Buddhism. That's Shani's prediction. Hope you lot are enjoying the weather, wherever you are. Whatever the weather. I'd be competitive or whatever. So I will be live August uh, the 3rd. And I shall see you. Is it the 3rd? I don't, or the 6th? Whatever the day it is, mate. Uh, yeah, day, day after tomorrow, is it? Uh, so I think it's the, yes, yeah, the 3rd. Um, so I shall see you then. You dares, or just you dares. Anyway, I'm gone. Hey there, it's Leah the Shamra. I'm non less. Come box with Shan. Kian! See you later, guys. Lady Shan has left the boot, is it? Kian!